let's start talking about evaluating Ruby without Ruby. Let me introduce myself. My name is Takashi Kokubun, uh, working at Cookpad, which is a company in Japan uh, that that's hosts a recipe sharing service, cooking recipes. Uh, I'm working as a developer productivity group at Cookpad Inc. Um, the recipe sharing service is Rails application, and we provide a development environment for Rails applications. Uh, today's topic is Ruby DSL, and I did uh, I implemented the tool with MRuby, and I've, I'll show you why did I did uh, that. And introduction to MRuby and two ways to build portable CLI apps configured by Ruby DSL. So first, uh, talking about Ruby DSL. Uh, DSL is domain-specific language, which is a language specialized to a particular application domain. Ruby DSL is a DSL defined in terms of Ruby language. For example, this is Ruby DSL I'm talking about today, and this is a uh, first package is uh, installs nginx, and this can work in both CentOS and Ubuntu. And next section is service nginx, and this enables nginx at startup or server and start nginx process. As you can see, uh, installing nginx and starting nginx is abstracted away for, for uh, some distributions, and we, we can configure it with Ruby. And it's boring if we write this in JSON, and we, because you are Rubyist, uh, you are happy to write this configuration. So how is Ruby DSL implemented? Have you ever implemented Ruby DSL? Thank you. Um, for example, uh, if you want to uh, evaluate this package nginx and returns package and nginx array, uh, the implement simple implementation is like this. Uh, defines DSL class that has package method, and it, uh, if when package method is called, it stores the uh, package name to result. And we can uh, get result from the DSL's result method. And uh, the more complex case, uh, if package has a nested uh, uh, DSL, like action, uh, if we specify action install, uh, specifying install interaction to nginx package. To implement this, you have to uh, create package class and you can uh, evaluate the uh, nested ac action API in package class and you can uh, do that by instance exec uh, method. So how is Ruby DSC implemented? Usually, Ruby DSL is implemented with MRI using instance evil or instance exec, et cetera. But we wanted to evaluate Ruby DSL without MRI. Why? Let's have a look. The second topic is our motivation to uh, evaluate Ruby DSL without MRI. Uh, Ruby DSL use case at Cookpad. Um, we, uh, uh, we developed a uh, development environment bootstrap script for Mac OS and Linux. We use Mac, not only Mac OS, but also Linux distributions to develop web applications. We wanted to use Ruby DSL to simply describe operations for multiple OS distributions like uh, I showed you before. Uh, for maintenance costs, we use the same Ruby DSL as a server provisioning tool we develop and use, which is called Itamae. Itamae means uh, chef of sushi. Uh, so the 
DSL is the, uh, inspired by Chef, the provisioning, uh, server provisioning tool. For example, this is a DSL of Itamae. And first, uh, this, uh, this describes installing Memcached and PostgreSQL. And this can, if you write this DSL, uh, you can install uh, Memcached and PostgreSQL by Itamae to macOS. And also, you can install this to Ubuntu by the same DSL. But there is a problem. Uh, our problem to bootstrap development environment using MRI is uh, there are difficulties to use MRI on initial environment. For example, Mac OS, uh, it, it ships Ruby 2.0.0. It is not uh, maintained, not maintained now, and which is uh, shipped with latest Mac OS. So we can't use uh, maintained Ruby. And for Linux, most Linux distribution uh, doesn't ship MRI out of the box. So we don't, um, we don't want to manually install MRI prior to bootstrap because uh, it is a first step of develop, uh, bootstrapping development environment. And if you use MRI for user's environment, uh, you have to care about uh, how a gem is set up every time you run Ruby DSL to bootstrap development environment. Our Ruby on MRIs already installed is a gem installed to MRI currently selected by RVM. And packaging Ruby or gem commands to run just one gem is little overkill. It's, it's cost to maintain. And how can we then, how can we live in dependency of MRI? For the reasons I, I talked Told about, told to you, uh, we want to remove development uh, dependency of MRI. All these problems are resolved if it doesn't depend on MRI. And can we embed Ruby VM into our software? So let's talk about MRuby. This is, uh, uh, I'll talk about uh, MRuby. Um, MRuby is a lightweight implementation of Ruby, and which is uh, embeddable in hardware and software. If you embed MRuby to hardware, you can learn, uh, you can compile Ruby scripts to very small uh, binary, and you can run it on uh, limited resource hardware. And if you embed software, uh, you can learn Ruby scripts from your software. It is not written in Ruby. So the, today's topic is uh, software embedding of MRuby. And if you, uh, MRuby, ah, if you embed MRuby, you can evaluate Ruby scripts from any software, even if it is not written in Ruby. And it, is, it allows us to build a software evaluating Ruby DSL and independent to MRI. Uh, as I showed you before, showed you before, um, normal DSL, uh, normal tool that runs Ruby DSL is implemented with MRI. But if you use MRuby, you can uh, in the, make it independent to MRI. So how to use it? How to embed and use MRuby? Uh, firstly, you have you have to git clone MRuby repository, and Run just run make command, and by executing make command, uh, rib mruby dot a is uh, generated in that directory uh, via the host rib directory, and it should be uh, required. It should be linked to your software to use mruby, and then call mruby's C API or use its binding for a language you use. If you use a uh, non-C language, uh, you have to write a binding to call the C API. This is example to uh, embed uh, MRB to uh, software and calling the C API. Firstly, uh, you have to uh, initialize MRB VM by MRB open. And after the initialization, uh, 
you can uh, evaluate Ruby scripts like this uh, by calling MRB role string API of uh, MRB. Uh, you can run this uh, hello world join uh, script, and you can get uh, the result of Ruby scripts as a C string, a bar, um, array of characters, and you can print the hello world the string in uh, C language. So now we can embed MRB into our software. Is it enough? No. Our use case is development environment boots up, and we should also care about dependencies other than MRI. So we want to build it as a single binary, which is not depend on other dynamic libraries. And there are some good ways to do that. I tried two ways to do that, so let's compare them. The main contents of today, building portable CRI apps configured by Ruby DSL. I introduced uh, two ways to build portable CRI apps configured by Ruby DSL. The first way to do that is go MRuby. Using MRuby only for environment Ruby DSL and implement other parts in Go language. The next is uh, MRV's CRI, which is introduced uh, today uh, by Eric. And th this way, uh, I implemented both Ruby DSL and others using MRuby. So I experimentally re-implemented the tool I uh, introduced before, the, which is a configuration management tool, uh, Itamae. So let's compare them. The first way to do that is Go MRuby. Using Go, you can compile Go, Go uh, script into single binary. So uh, embedding MRuby to Go language, uh, you can build single binary, and you can uh, run Ruby scripts from the single binary. So the, this example is the, uh, using uh, Go MRuby, and which is called Itamai Go. You can see that a real example at my GitHub, Kokubun slash itamais hyphen go. How to run Ruby scripts from Go? Uh, first, you, uh, again, uh, you git clone MRB and make libmrb.de. And you, if you want to use libmrb from Go MRB, uh, you have to copy the libmrb to Go MRB's directory. And importing the directory and call MRB APIs by Go language. This is example of using uh, MRB from Go language. First, you have to uh, initialize MRB VM like the C language. And uh, MRB role string is uh, in Go, which is a uh, role string in Go language. The, you can do the same, same thing in C language a hardware join script, and you can evaluate that and get the Go string from the uh, role st uh, string value API. So how to implement Ruby DSA in Go? If you use Ruby for all implementation, you don't care about uh, the converting the data, data, data structures, but to implement I operations in Go, it is necessary to get data from, for Go from an evaluation result of Ruby DSL. I implemented the method for Ruby DSL in Go language. First, um, define, define method. Uh, it, is call, it is necessary to call define method. And uh, first, uh, define function uh, named package. This, it is uh, empty for now, and that returns new. And then uh, for simple case of the DSL, uh, uh, we want to get the result of the VDSL evaluation. And the result is uh, the right, right uh, package resource struct. We can get package, package resource struct and its name from this API. And the complex case, uh, then uh, if 
block is given to the package DSL, uh, the argument is uh, the argument is increased to two. So the checking by checking arguments, argument, the number of arguments, and uh, the call, calling uh, initializing a package package class and call the block to, by instance eval and calling the methods uh, attributes and actions or and the other <coughs> attributes, you can get the result of RubyDSA evaluation. Um, the package is uh, implemented uh, in uh, uh, Ruby. Um, you can define any any class in Ruby by uh, MRB role string. So this package that new was uh, defined in Ruby. Uh, but as you can see, it was a little hard to maintain. Writing bridge to connect Ruby and Go words is really boring. And checking errors for all Ruby method calls is boring. Like um, uh, all, all, all method calls in this example uh, returns uh, underscore, but in your in, in real use case, you may check uh, the all errors from all method chains. It's very boring. And required to use three languages because uh, at, uh, to define package class, you, you have to write Ruby and uh, the conversion is a Go language. And MRB gem is, uh, the base of MRB gem is C, so you have to use three languages for maintain, maintaining this library. And you need to prepare environment for cross compiling by yourself. The, the next example has a very useful uh, environment to, for cross compiling. But if you use MRuby, Go MRuby, uh, there are so few examples using this. So it is hard to cross compile and uh, linking uh, the MRuby to the Go script and cross compiling it. But why did we need Go language? Uh, why did I? Why I choose Go language was the purpose of that. It was uh, to make it as a single binary, and to implement I/O operations for developer environment bootstrap. Um, in this case, uh, other uh, other parts of uh, MR, uh, sorry, Ruby DSL is uh, all all of other parts are implemented in Go language. So it is very easy to implement I/O I/O operations because. Uh, there are many uh, package, uh, sorry, standard libraries to implement I/O operations in Go language, and so can we achieve them without Go language? If we write, uh, if we implement, if we can implement I/O operations in C, you can do that in MRB too. So try MRB CRI. The next example is using MRB CRI. So I implemented the next example called M Itamae, which is alternative implementation of the server provisioning to Itamae and the former Itamae Go, which is actively maintained by me <coughs> for now. And it is single binary and built with MRB CRI and written, written in pure Ruby because it uses MRB CRI and all of the parts are implemented in Ruby language. You can see that, see that code in my GitHub. Then what is MRB CRI? MRB CRI is a cross compile platform to build CRI apps using MRuby. You can see that on Terence Reed's MRuby CRI repository and Eric gave a talk building maintainable command line tools with MRuby this morning. If you missed it, watch the video later. So how to use MRuby CRI? It is very simple. Uh, downloading MRuby CRI command, command from uh, the MRuby CRI's releases page and generate boilerplate to implement the tool by MRuby CRI hyphen S app, application name and change directory to that and doc, the run docker compose run compiler. You can get binaries 
in that directory. So just executing these commands, uh, by just executing these commands, you can run, uh, you can build a, a single binary. That is not depend on uh, MRI and implement it with, implement it with Ruby. How to implement Ruby DSL with Ruby uh, MRV CRI? Which is almost the same way as MRI, but something is different in MRV CRI. Uh, we require to add some MRV gems to call methods which is not provided by default. In MRV, uh, since MRV is very small uh, implementation, uh, some, some default features in CRV are omitted. Uh, MRV I used, uh, I used MRV eval for instance eval and MRV object ex extension for instance exec. <coughs> so what is MRV gem? It is uh, like Ruby gem for MRI, but unlike Ruby gem, uh, it's comp uh, compiled together when building MRuby. So the Docker Compose run compile uh, when you execute it, uh, MRV gem is compiled to the same into the same binary. So you can use it without adding dependency to the binary. And some of built-in features in MRI are separated to MRV gem and MRuby. So if you miss some of the features in MRuby, uh, you can search it from MRV gems. Um, to implement the uh, server provisioning tool, uh, since it was implemented originally in Ruby, uh, I, I wanted to uh, port existing standard libraries or Ruby gems to MRB gem. It's very easy when they are written in Ruby because most features required by Ruby programming except keyword arguments are available at existing MRB gems. And I created uh, some MRV gems to implement Emitamae, uh, which is shareware's and Hashi gem. <coughs> then, but uh, if the methods are not implemented in Ruby, it is a little hard to use that. Uh, if uh, the method is written in C, uh, you have to write C to implement the MRV gem. Uh, some of IO operations uh, in MRB are already existed, but uh, I wanted to use capture standard out and the standard error that's and the exit status separately. Uh, there are no open three library and corner spawn method. So it is very hard to do, achieve the uh, capturing standard out and standard error and exit status at the same time. Uh, and it is necessary to write C implement C rank is to implement kernel spawn command uh, spawn method. This is the implementation of spawn method in uh, my MRB gem open three uh, MRB open three. Uh, first, we uh, you uh, this method uh, this function calls fork and it uh, redirects standard out and standard error. So. As you can see, uh, this implementation is very limited use case of spawn command, uh, spawn method. Original spawn method has very, very, very uh, var various uh, options, and uh, it is hard to implement all of the features. So I implemented spawn, original spawn for uh, this MRV Open3. And writing the, writing the method in C language, uh, writing the message in Shanghai, we, we could uh, build uh, Open3 Capture3 method with using the, using the API. <laughs> As you can see, uh, it calls out and error option uh, in string, but uh, it is only, uh, the spawn method has only these methods, these options. So it was a, a little easier, but uh, the spawn method is incomplete. Uh, so you may, if you may not familiar with uh, C language, you think it's hard to implement apps with MRV CRI. Um, I think yes, it's hard a little when the necessary MRV gems are absent. 
But there are great merits to build apps using MRV CRI. The first merit is uh, you can distribute applications easily. That single binary are not depending on user's environment, like gem command or Ruby command, and which can be cross-compilable easily by the Docker file provided by MRV CRI. The next uh, merit to, using, to use MRV CRI is the startup of the command is very fast. If you use uh, MRI to implement the original command, uh, it, it's called, uh, it takes uh, 700 milliseconds to execute very simple version command, but if you re-implement it in MRB, uh, since it's already compiled, it, uh, it executes very fast. Uh, it takes only 23 sec milliseconds. It is three, 33 times faster than original MRI implementation. And the best, uh, very important part is that uh, it's very maintainable. No bridging code like uh, Go and Ruby words, or I'm very happy to write all implementation in Ruby if you are a Rubyist. And this is conclusion. Uh, to simplify development environment bootstrap, I made a configuration management tool configured by Ruby DSL as a single binary using MRuby, which is uh, mitamai on that GitHub. And there are two ways to build a tool configured by Ruby DSL as a single binary. If there is no reason to use Go language, use Go M, uh, use, uh, if there's a reason, uh, use Go, Go MRuby. And otherwise, MRuby CRI is recommended for that purpose. Uh, that's all, thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Um, I, uh, the, uh, the question was, uh, sorry, um, porting, um, can you port, uh, can I port the part I write, write in C language to MRVGEM? Um, I exported it as MRVGEM, uh, uh, MRV Open 3. Um, since it, it is, uh, the spawn method, spawn method is in, uh, is used only by MRuby Open3 library. Uh, I I uh, I implemented in it in the MRuby Open3 MRV gem, so it is already ported to MRV gem. No other questions. Okay, that's all. Thank you.